Uh, one of the most exciting things we're working on, you, again, using the tools that, that, that Sam and Masa are providing, uh, is, our, is a cancer vaccine. It's very interesting. Early diag it turns out, I'll be quick, all of our ca cancers, uh, cancer tumors, little fragments of those tumors float around in your blood. So you can do early cancer detection. If you can do it using a, you can do early cancer detection with a blood test. Uh, and using AI to look at the blood test, you can find the, a, a can, the cancers that are actually seriously threatening the person. So we can, again, cancer, cancer diagnosis using AI has the promise of just being a simple blood test. Then beyond that, once we gene sequence, once we gene sequence that cancer tumor, you can then vaccinate the person, design a vaccine for every individual person to vaccinate them against that cancer. And you can make that vaccine, the, that mRNA vaccine, you can make that robotically again using AI in about 48 hours. So imagine early cancer detection the development of a cancer vaccine for, the, for your particular cancer aimed at you and have, have that vaccine available in 48 hours. This is the promise of AI and the promise of the future. Thank you. Nice to see you. Some very familiar faces. Well, thank you very much. And it's an honor to be here today. We have uh, first full day as president, we're back. And we had a great first term, but we're going to have an even better second term. And I think we're going to do things that people would be shocked at. We're uh, starting off with tremendous investment coming into our country at levels that nobody's really ever seen before. And they're very uh, happy with the fact that I won the race and that they feel confident in their investments. And it's big money and high quality people. So my first day back from, from uh, having a nice life, it's my honor to welcome three of the world's leading technology CEOs. And in the case of Larry, Larry Ellison, uh, it's well beyond technology, he's sort of uh, CEO of everything. He's an amazing man, an amazing uh, business person but to announce the largest AI infrastructure project by far in history. And it's all taking place right here in America. As you know, there's great competition for AI and other things, and uh, they're coming in at the highest level. We're joined by Oracle Executive Chairman Larry Ellison, SoftBank CEO, my friend Masa, Masa Yoshi's son, and CEO of OpenAI, and I would say the, uh, by far the leading expert based on everything I read, Sam Altman. So uh, that's great that you're coming in together. That's a massive group of talent and, and money. Together, these world-leading technology giants are announcing the formation of Stargate. So put that name down in your books, because I think you're going to hear a lot about it in the future, a new American company that will invest $500 billion at least in AI infrastructure in the United States and move, and very, very quickly moving very rapidly, creating over 100,000 American jobs almost immediately. This monumental undertaking is a resounding declaration of confidence in America's potential under a new president. Let me be a new president. I didn't say it. They did. So I appreciate that, fellas. But it'll ensure the future of technology. What we want to do is we want to keep it in this country. China is a competitor, and others are competitors. We want, we want it to be in this country, and we're making it uh, available. Uh, I'm going to help uh, a lot through emergency declarations, because we have an emergency. We have to get this stuff built. So they have to produce a lot of electricity, and we'll make it possible for them to get that production done very easily at their own plants if they want, where they'll build uh, at the plant, the AI plant, they'll build uh, energy generation, and that will be incredible. But it's technology and artificial intelligence, all made in the USA. 
begin immediately, Stargate will be building the physical and virtual infrastructure to power the next generation of advancements in AI. And this will include the construction of colossal data centers, very, very massive structures. I was in the real estate business. These buildings, these are big, beautiful buildings that are going to employ a lot of people. And physical campuses and locations currently being scouted nationwide. They're making their choices of locations. I think they have their choice. I'd like to ask uh, Larry, Sam, and Masa to say a few words and uh, just talk about a little bit about what they're doing and uh, if you have any questions. And then we'll go into a couple of other subjects also. But this is, to me, a very big thing, $500 billion. Uh, Stargate project, I think it's going to be something that's very special. It'll lead to something that could be the biggest of all. So, uh, Larry, maybe we'll start with you and we'll go down the line. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. We certainly couldn't do this without you. Uh, it, would, it would simply be impossible. Uh, AI holds incredible promise for all of us, for every, every American. Uh, we've actually been, been working with OpenAI for a while and with Masa, Masa for a while. The data centers are actually under construction. Uh, the first of them are under construction in Texas. Each building's a half a million square feet. There are 10 buildings currently, on, you know, currently being built, but that will expand to 20 and other locations be, beyond uh, the Abilene location, which is, which is our first location. The kind of applications that we're building to give you an idea, maybe the most charismatic and the one that I think touches us all is uh, uh, electronic health records, not just maintaining electronic health records, but by looking at electronic health records, understanding the condition of the doctors, better understanding the condition of their patients and being able to uh, provide health care plans that are much better than they otherwise would be. A doctor in Indian uh, River Reservation would be able to see how a, a doctor at Memorial Sloan Kettering would, would treat, treat the patient, or a, a, a doctor at, at Stanford would, uh, would treat the patient. We actually provide all of that information, all of that guidance to the, doc the doctors who are treating cancer patients or, or patients with any other kind of disease made possible by AI. I'm not going to take a lot of time. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pass it to Masa, but this is a very exciting program for Oracle to be a part of. Thank you. Thank you. That was really helping. That was good. That's great. That's great. I feel tall now. <laughs> Thank you. Well, Mr. President, um, last, last month I came to um, celebrate your winning and promised that uh, we will invest $100 billion. And you told me, oh, Masa, go for 200 sure. <laughs> yeah. Now I came back with 500 uh, because, because this is the, as you say yesterday, uh, this is the beginning of golden age golden. of America. This is one great example, I think, right? Well, we wouldn't have decided I to do so, this. I think so. This is the beginning of golden age. We wouldn't have decided unless you won. And yesterday, we agreed, we signed to make this happen yeah. because of this day. So uh, we would uh, make this happen. We would immediately start deploying $100 billion with the goal of making $500 billion within the next four years, within your term, right? Because of your success. So we are very, very excited to do this. And uh, um, our partner is, of course, SoftBank, OpenAI, Oracle, and uh, uh, additionally, investing partner with uh, MGX. Uh, on top of that, we have the technology partner, NVIDIA. And of course, Microsoft has been very, very supportive to Sam and continue to support uh, all our success. Uh, this is not just for business. As Rally said, this will help people's life. This will help solving many, many issues, difficult things that otherwise we could not have solved with the power of AI. 
I think uh, uh, AGI is coming very, very soon. And then after that, that's not the goal. After that, artificial super intelligence will come to solve the issues that mankind would never ever have thought that we could solve. Well, this is the beginning of our golden age. Thank you very much. I don't have too much to add, uh, but I did want to say I'm thrilled we get to do this in the United States of America. I think this will be the most important project of this era. And as Masa said, for AGI to get built here, to create hundreds of thousands of jobs, to create a new industry centered here, uh, we wouldn't be able to do this without you, Mr. President. Uh, and I'm thrilled that we get to. I think it'll be uh, an exciting project. I think we'll be able to do all of the wonderful things that these guys talked about. But the fact that we get to do this in the United States uh, is, is, I think, wonderful. So. Thank you very much. Could you just say one word? I, I hear so many positive things about what it's going to do for medical research and for solving things, cancer and all the different problems. How will AI help us with the fight against the various problems, diseases, etc.? These guys can maybe share more about some of the work they're doing there. Uh, I think they'll jointly be some of the leaders about driving progress here. But I, I believe that as this technology progresses, we will see diseases get cured at an unprecedented rate. Uh, we will be amazed at how quickly we're curing this cancer and that one and heart disease uh, and what this will do for the ability of to deliver very high quality health care, the costs, but really to cure the diseases um, at a rapid, rapid rate, I think will be among the most important things this technology does. Okay, great. Very good. Thank Can you. I so we're currently working on, should I step on this? Okay. All right. No, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not that, I'm not that tall. I'm not that tall. I'm not that tall. I'm not that tall. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, one of the most exciting things we're working on, you, again, using the tools that, that, that Sam and Masa are providing, uh, is, our, is a cancer vaccine. It's very interesting. Early diag, it turns out, I'll be quick, all of our ca cancers, uh, cancer tumors, little fragments of those tumors float around in your blood. So you can do early cancer detection. If you can do it using a, you can do early cancer detection with a blood test. Uh, and using AI to look at the blood test, you can find the, a, a can the cancers that are actually seriously threatening the person. So we can, again, cancer, cancer diagnosis using AI has the promise of just being a simple blood test. Then beyond that, once we gene sequence, once we gene sequence that cancer tumor, you can then vaccinate the person, design a vaccine for every individual person to vaccinate them against that cancer. And you can make that vaccine, the, that mRNA vaccine, you can make that robotically, again, using AI in about 48 hours. So imagine early cancer detection, the development of a cancer vaccine for, the, for your particular cancer aimed at you, and have, have that vaccine available in 48 hours. This is the promise of AI and the promise of the future. Thanks. Yeah, just one second, and we'll finish up. But, but uh, you know, these are highly respected guys. I was shocked with Larry because I don't even think Larry does this stuff. He did a very good job for a guy that doesn't do it much, right? But he's so respected and uh, the group, and it's it's really an honor. But uh, uh, for Larry to be here and do this is very unusual because he doesn't do this stuff. He doesn't need it. He does, and you don't need it, do you? Huh? You don't need it. But I, I just uh, I think it's an honor to the. Uh, to the country, it's a great honor that this group. Were, these are the top people that they uh, they're going to do it, and they're going to do it here. And we're going to make it as easy as it can be. A five hundred million dollar Stargate project comes in addition to a separate pledge between uh, one hundred and two hundred billion dollars from, as we know, from Masa that we talked about uh, before. Also, twenty billion from. The Mac, which was uh, great, and we have many others uh, that are coming. Some I just say just announce it; it's easier. But with some, I know them, and and they're so highly respected. I'd rather 
do it this way. Many would like to do it this way, but we're letting the world know what's happening. Uh, this is money that normally would have gone to China or other countries, but in particular China. In total, before the end of my first full business day in Washington in uh, the White House, we've already secured nearly uh, $3 trillion of new investments in the United States, and probably that's going to be six or seven by the end of the week. Tremendous amounts of money are coming in for uh, for many things other than even AI. AI seems to be very hot. It seems to be the thing that uh, a lot of smart people are looking at very strongly. And our country will be prospering like never before. I think that's true, and it's going to be the golden age of America's 